So you've probably seen one of these before, a funnel. Now imagine it bigger, sturdier, and built to handle tons of material. In manufacturing, that's called a hopper. It's a device that stores bulk materials like powders or small parts and feeds them into a manufacturing process in a controlled way. In our shop, we don't use hoppers, but we make them. So how do you go from a flat sheet of metal to a complex and round device? In this video, we'll show you how. This is American Precision Engineering. We make the stuff that makes the stuff. We have a client who's manufacturing batteries. They need hoppers to measure and feed different powders into their production line. Powders go into this top square in the opening and a valve at the other end of the round opening precisely meters that out. That means that we need to create a square to round transition piece. To make it harder, the circle isn't even centered with the square and that makes the geometry pretty complex and difficult to obtain. The first step in this project is the design. We start out with only a very rough design that was given to us by our customer to turn it into to detailed SOLIDWORKS model. Each part then gets flattened out so it can be laser cut, then bent back into shape later. Our laser cutter follows the designs with extreme accuracy, like 5 thousandths of an inch. That precision is critical because even a small error in one part will throw off the entire squared around transition. As you see with these parts getting cut, the laser's taking that file and following that 2D pattern as it cuts out each piece. Some of these things look kind of crazy when they come off the machine, but they'll start making a lot more sense once we start forming them up. So now we got all the parts cut, we're gonna take them over to the press break. This is where those flat pieces start to take shape and become 3D components that eventually will become that final product. So one of the things you'll see in our business and in any other shop for that matter is what's called shop drawings. So our press break world champion here, Delano's reading those shop drawings, which are created by our engineer, which is basically instructions to the operators on the shop floor of what they need to make. And sometimes they'll have work instructions of how they need to do it. Delano's here is, is an expert. So he's basically seen what this part needs to look like when he's done with it. So he's gonna program the press break controller to give him the bins that he needs to get that part to come out as it's shown on the shop drawing. So one of the most challenging parts to bend on this particular assembly is what we call that squared around transition. So what we're doing here is called bump forming. So normally a press break, you're gonna hit it once and it's gonna make a single bend. But what we're doing now is we're making this series of small bends that are barely off from one another to create that big radius. And instead of moving that part out in a square fashion, we're kind of rotating it about one corner. So that's why you just hear, you see this series of one bend after the next that creates the circle on one end and what will end eventually be the square on the other. So 
So when we get all these pieces fit together, eventually we're gonna weld it together. And on this project, the welds aren't just for strength. We have to finish those off super smooth because the product in the side of this hopper will catch on any imperfection on the inside of it. So we're having to blend these welds on the inside to be perfectly smooth so that you can't even tell that they're there. Otherwise they would disrupt the flow of the hopper and kind of defeat the purpose of what it's made for. We also blend the outside welds just for an aesthetic finish. If we were gonna weld these and leave them unblended, we would do a little bit better job of making the weld itself aesthetic, but the customer asked us to blend all these welds on the exterior of the hopper so that it could be wiped clean. So as you can see, these things came out looking pretty nice. Once we were done fabricating and blending the welds, we send them out to electro polish, which is a process with electrical current. They remove some surface of the material and it creates a very smooth surface as well as a somewhat shiny surface, which is kind of nice to look at and it makes the product slip through the hopper better. The customer's super happy with this. We're super happy with the way it came out. We love projects like this. This came to us as nothing but like a really crappy 3D scan of a similar part that the customer wanted us to try to replicate. We love projects like this. We love that challenging geometry. Hopefully you enjoyed this. We got more to show. So if you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe.